Hey guys, this is Dimitri with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace the power strip button on your Sony XM3 headphones. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the left side apart. The power strip button is located on the left hand side. So to do this we are going to go ahead and use our handy dandy pry tool. Um, I also do want to mention that all the tools I'll be using in this video, we do sell them on our website, joesge.com. The link will be down in the description below if you are looking to purchase the tools for this specific repair. So first thing, we're going to go ahead and pry off the ear pad using our pry tool. We're just simply going to go ahead, go on the side here and just pry it up. The ear pad is held on clips. Once we've pried one side open, you could go ahead and just peel the rest of it off. Go ahead, set that aside. Next thing we're gonna do is remove this foam cushion. Once we get here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove all the Phillips Plus screws that you see in these headphones. Do keep in mind the four screws that are at the bottom are the longest screws. So we're gonna go ahead and set those aside separately or together, doesn't really matter. It's more of a personal preference. These four long screws are what keeps this cup in place. So once you remove those four long screws, you can notice that this cup does pop open freely. And the short screws are just what holds the molding to the speaker housing or the shorties. Be careful not to drop any screws in the speaker because the speaker is magnetized and if it eats one of the screws up you're gonna have to replace the driver. Once we have removed all screws, we're gonna go ahead and take our handy dandy flathead screwdriver and we're just gonna pry this plastic molding up. Once we do that, go ahead and remove it. Set it off to the side. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the screw to the power strip button. Once we have removed the screw from the power strip button, you could go ahead and pop that out like so. Flip the headphones over to this side. Take the cover off. And this ribbon right here that is plugged into the main board is for the power strip button. All you have to do is just simply grab it, wiggle it loose while pulling on it, unplug it, and go ahead and pull it out. Set that aside. Take the new power strip button, and what you're going to do is to ensure that you're installing this correct, you want to make sure that the button and the light are matching with the button and the light right there. And then you have your noise canceling uh, feature right there. And it's the button that's the furthest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, place it down. Now we're gonna take this ribbon and we're going to feed it right through the opening flip it over go ahead pull the ribbon through like so once you've done that go ahead and put the screw back to fasten the ribbon strip
once we have done that, go ahead and plug this ribbon back in. You'll know you're doing it right when the blacked out side is facing up. You just push and it should plug right in like so. Once you've done that, go ahead and close this cover back up, flip the headphones over. And what I like to do is I'll install the two long screws right up top just to kind of fasten the cover so that it doesn't fall off just in case you decide to pick these headphones up. Do not try to do it from the bottom because you still need to insert this molding. Those long screws hold the molding at the bottom as well. So you're gonna go ahead, line it up, push down into place, and then go ahead and insert the last two long screws in the bottom. Once you've done that, go ahead and insert the rest of the little screws back into the molding. Once all screws are in place, you're gonna take your cushion and you're gonna place it back over the speaker. Remember the flat end of the cushion goes with the flatter end here and where it's more rounded, you just kinda follow the speaker housing. So we're gonna go ahead and place that back in. And next we're gonna go ahead and put our ear pad back on. If you notice on the ear pad, you have the clip closest to the pin, goes up top where you have the cut for the, uh, for the clip and the pin. And at the bottom, the clip goes here and the pin's a little further away. So that's how you know the right side up. You just place it over and simply just push down on the outsides and you should hear the ear pad clip back into place. Once you have done that, go ahead, give your ear pad a tug, make sure it's not popping loose. It looks like it is secure. And once you have done that, you have completed the repair. And that is how you replace the ribbon strip button on your Sony XM3 headphones. <laughs>